I'm very pleased today to introduce you to James P. Moore, inventor, engineer, mathematician, and author. James is a systems design engineer with an engineering degree from the University of Waterloo, a premier university here in Canada. James has been recognized by all levels of government and media as one of the world's foremost experts in energy, production, conservation, air quality, and climate change. James's company, 4L Energy, develops new energy technologies on both the production and conservation side. And James was nominated by the United Nations for the Caterva Award, considered the Nobel Prize in Sustainability. In addition to all of that, James Morris, the first person in history to determine the equations that define the prime number sequence. And that's the topic of our conversation today. So again, welcome, James. So I understand that we're here to discuss recent breakthroughs involving four seemingly simple equations that have revolutionized our understanding of prime numbers. Yes, uh, we call them the fundamental four. Surprisingly, they've never been grouped together as an entity. They're simple equations for those with a back, bit of mathematical background, a function of x. So f at x equals 2x in this case. The next one x equals 3 plus 6x. That is 5 plus 6x. And then 7 plus 6x. And when you combine them all, they have remarkable properties. But what is it, James, that makes them so special? What's remarkable is that these four equations, when considered together, they generate all positive integers greater than one. They are the equations defining the natural numbers. They're very much like a DNA of mathematics. Think of each equation as adenine, and cytosine, and guanine, and thymine. Each completely independent, and yet when combined, create a symphony of complexities. So that is fascinating. I love that idea of each of these simple equations being like a chord in a symphony, in a song. But here is what I'm curious about. How does it relate to prime numbers? And maybe first of all, you could just remind us what prime numbers are and why they are important. Sure. Uh, prime numbers are whole numbers with no decimals, like one, two, three. And they're only divisible by one and themselves. Think of the number seven, for instance. You divide it wholly by one and seven, whereas six is different. You can divide it by one, six, and two, and three. So that's not a prime. And what makes them important is that they are used in cryptography to secure financial transactions all day, every day, all day long. The, uh, the fundamental four equations have been proven here for the first time in history as foundational equations that determine, and this is the important part, fully characterize all prime numbers to infinity. And they've led to breakthroughs in some of the most famous unsolved problems in number theory. Okay, so wait a minute. The most famous unsolved problems. Now, you've really got my attention there. Uh, James, can you give us an example of one of these breakthroughs? One of them is called the, the twin prime conjecture. It dates back to 300 BC. And it suggests that there are an infinity of twin primes. And twin primes are prime numbers that are just, they're side by side and you don't know why. Three, five, right? 11, 13. But if you keep going all the way through the number line, as big as numbers get, every now and again, you come across twin primes where you get one number is separated by just one. They're right beside each other, but no one's ever known why. And they've never been able to prove that there's an infinite number of them. And now we get to prove that. And am I understanding right that you were saying this is a 2,300 year old problem mm -hmm. that's been solved using these four little equations? That's what I'm saying. And I know it seems simple. The, the problem has resisted uh, proof for millennia. But now using this framework, 
and built on these equations, there is a rigorous proof that twin primes are indeed infinite and extend throughout the entire number line. Wow. So that, that is really incredible. Now, but I'm guessing there's even more. Actually, uh, it gets a little more surprising. They also prove what's called the strong and the weak Goldback conjectures. And Christian Goldback was a mathematician back in the 1700s. And he realized that even numbers, you could create every even number using two primes, but he couldn't prove it. And he realized that you could create every odd number using three primes, but he couldn't prove that either. And that's been around a long time. But these equations prove what he brought forward all those all those years ago. Wow. So I have to admit, it sounds a little too good to be true. Well, skepticism is healthy in mathematics. It's it's its foundation. Um, the conjectures have been central problems in number theory for, well, geez, hundreds of years. And then in one case, you go back to the twin primes, we're looking at over 2,000 years. But every now and again, there's a case recently where two high school students proved something very long standing using very simple geometry. It happens. That's the beauty of mathematics. It happens. And here we are. And that's, that's what's really striking me today is how is it possible that such simple equations could lead to such profound results? And isn't it rather curious that no one noticed the significance of these equations before? Yeah, I do think it's the beauty of mathematics that if you go back in time and, and think about when did we decide that that was the way look at it genuinely from first principles i often find that that's the most interesting point in history and it reveals all sorts of things and it did here um i don't know why they haven't been seen before i think maybe it was just to take it for granted it happens it happens in engineering in my field all the time but they're so fundamental the fact is uh, they don't appear as a group in any textbook that we've ever, ever been able to find and literally going to universities and opening up textbooks, they don't exist. Google can't find them anywhere and neither can chat GPT. So it's, it's quite an interesting discovery. What comments have you had from others, James, as a result of these breakthroughs? I, I had one, um, teaching chair at university said to me, he said, I haven't been able to sleep for four nights. And that's pretty much the kind of comments that we get. Yeah. So, so people can see it now when you show them, but, but it is really like these proofs were hiding in plain sight, isn't it? Tell me a little bit more about the implications of these discoveries. In pure mathematics, so it's new tools and new perspectives. See, up till now, they've never had equations that define all integers. And that's surprising that the entire integer existence has never had equations to define them. Now they get to go back and think about what they've always been pondering and what they've been searching for. It might create interesting revelations. So we're looking forward to those discoveries. Yeah, that's really fascinating. Um, James, as we wrap up, what do you think personally is the most exciting aspect of this discovery? I think the most exciting aspect is, is a reminder that even in a field as well studied as number theory, in my world, engineering theory, there still can be unexplored territories hiding in plain sight. They really can. And it invites us to wonder. I think of the children, the invitation to wonder and what other mathematical treasures might be waiting to be discovered. Yes, I love that. I really think that should inspire all of us 
to realize that we live in an amazing universe and that simple observation of the basic, just stepping back, taking a fresh view of things right in front of us like you've done, can reveal amazing mysteries. There must be so much more for us and for the generations to come to discover and to celebrate. So thank you so much, James. This is really a thrilling thought to end on. And now you have written a book about this. Please tell us about that and how people can get a copy. Sure. It's called uh, Prime Numbers, The Fundamental Four Redefining Prime Numbers. That's It's an ebook for now. It will be hard copy eventually. Contains the background and stories and definitely the rigorous proofs of the prime fundamental four equations, the proof of the twin prime conjecture, and both the strong and weak callback conjectures. And it can be found by clicking on the link below. Perfect. Well, thank you, James, for sharing these incredible insights with us today. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Welcome to a, a unique future. <laughs>